Hi, I'm Tong Yu, and today I will present our work on a physics and learning-based transmission-less attenuation compensation method for SPECT. SPECT is a widely used nuclear medicine imaging modality. It can show the radio tracer distribution in the human body by detecting gamma ray photons and has multiple clinical applications such as in cardiac and brain imaging. However, attenuation of photons as they traverse from the source to the detector impacts the performance of SPECT on clinical tasks. Compensating for attenuation is a prerequisite for reliable quantification and beneficial for visual interpretation tasks in SPECT. Thus, there is an important need for method to perform attenuation compensation or AC in SPECT. Performing attenuation compensation requires the availability of an attenuation map of the patient. This attenuation map is typically obtained by doing a transmission scan, typically a CT scan. This CT-based attenuation compensation method suffers from several disadvantages. This includes increasing radiation dose and higher costs. Further, misalignment between SPECT and CT scans can occur, which leads to inaccurate attenuation compensation. Typically, the CT scan is obtained with a SPECT CT system. However, a large portion of SPECT market share is occupied by standing alone SPECT systems, where a transmission scan is unavailable. Moreover, several merging solid state detector based SPECT as well, as well as mobile spec systems do not have CT imaging capability. Given the challenges with transmission-based attenuation compensation method, in this presentation, we propose developed and quantitatively evaluate an attenuation compensation approach for SPECT that does not require a transmission scan. In a SPECT, Photo big window and scatter window projections can be obtained from the emission data. The scatter window projection is often discarded. However, we have shown that scattered photon inspect contain information to estimate the attenuation distribution. Expanding on this observation, we proposed a physics and learning based 3D reconstruction method that uses the spec emission data in the photo big and scatter windows to perform transmission-less attenuation compensation. The key idea, as we show here, is to use the scatter projections to estimate the attenuation map. I will now go into the details of the proposed method. To begin with, SPEC system provides us projections both in photo peak and scatter windows. Probability of scatter depends on attenuation coefficients of the tissue. Therefore, images reconstructed using scattered photon may provide a source of contrast between tissues with different attenuation coefficients. With that premise, the scattered window data was used to obtain an initial estimate of attenuation map using an ordered subset expectation maximization method. Now we have the initial estimate of attenuation map. We segment this initial map into different anatomical regions using a convolutional neural network based approach. The convolutional neural network has been trained on the task of segmenting the initial attenuation maps by minimizing the cross centropy between the estimated segmented attenuation map and the true segmented attenuation map. Then, predefined attenuation coefficients are then assigned to the, each region yielding the final estimate of attenuation map. Next, the photo peak sonogram data and this final estimate of attenuation map are input to an OSM-based reconstruction approach to estimate the activity map. This approach compensates for attenuation using the provided attenuation map. Additionally, this method also compensates for scatter collimator detector response and noise. In summary, the method performs the attenuation compensation using only spec emission data 
and without requiring any separate transmission scans. Next, we evaluated the proposed method. Spec images are required for clinical tasks such as detection and quantification. Therefore, we evaluated the performance of our method on two specific clinical tasks in two spec applications. The first task was a detection task, namely detection of cardiac defects in myocardial perfusion specs. The second task was a quantification task, namely quantification of tracer uptake in different regions of the brain from brain dopamine transporter spec images. To evaluate the proposed method on those clinical tasks, we need to know the ground truth. However, this is typically unknown in clinical settings. Thus, we used a virtual imaging trial framework to evaluate the proposed method. This framework provides a rigorous approach to evaluate new and improved imaging methods by allowing the incorporation of population variability, modeling the imaging system characteristics and then apply observer models that quantitatively evaluate the performance of the method on specific clinical tasks. We first conducted the cardiac spec evaluation study. Myocardial perfusion spec images are required for the clinical task of detecting the myocardium defects. Therefore, the proposed method was objectively evaluated on this task. To generate a virtual population for cardiac spec that simulate patient availability, 1,600 phantoms were generated using the XCAT phantom. We simulated the clinical realistic anatomical parameters and the activity distribution that varied across the patients. Both male and female patients are simulated. Further, we simulated availability in the cardiac defect location, severity, and the ships. For this purpose, we simulated four different defect types. Thus, a virtual patient population that models both population and defect availability in our clinical realistic matters was simulated. Having the digital population generated, a clinical 3D spec system with parameters similar to GE Discovery 670 was modeled using SIMIN a um, validated Monte Carlo-based spec simulation software. This software modeled all relevant imaging degrading processes in spec, including attenuation, scatter, and collimator detector response. This then provided us with sandgrams, both in photopic and scatter windows. Then the initial estimate of attention map was reconjected by previous mentioned OSM based reconstruction approach using the scatter window data. The CN was trained on 800 pairs of initial estimate of attention maps and corresponding segmented masks. Five fold cross validation was implemented to prevent overfitting. Then the predefined attention coefficients are assigned to each region, yielding the final estimate of attention maps. Finally, the photopic sandgram was reconjected by an OSM-based approach with this attention map, yielding the estimated activity map. We used the proposed transmission less attenuation composition approach to reconjunct 800 images. The performance of the proposed method was evaluated with these 800 images. In these images, note that both the patient characteristics and the defect types were changing. Thus, this was a signal node statistically, background node statistically task. Lee et al. had developed a model observer for this task. We used this observer to obtain the RC plots and the AUC values. We also compared the performance of the proposal method on this data to a reconstruction approach that used the true attenuation map for attenuation compensation. Further, we also compared to our reconjunction approach that used a uniform attention map. We show here the result of ROC analysis. 
we see that the RC curve used by the proposed method exactly overlapped with that obtained when the true attention map was used for attention compensation. Further, the proposed method outperformed the strategy that used a uniform attention map. Further, the AOC with the proposed method was statistically similar to that obtained using the true attention map and significantly higher than that obtained with a uniform attention map. Here we show some estimated attention maps. We observe that the attention maps from the proposed method were visually similar to the true attention maps. Now we present some reconstructed activity maps. We can find that activity from the proposed method were visually similar to that with the true attention map. We further evaluate the proposed method in the context of brain dopamine transporter spect on quantification tasks. To generate a virtual population for brain dopamine transporter spect, we extracted structural boundaries from 220 clinical MR images. Then clinical realistic signal to background activity ratio was assigned to each RI. Thus, a virtual population that has both anatomical and activity variability in clinical realistic scenario was simulated. Next, similar spec system was modeled to obtain centigrams both in photo peak and scatter windows. CT images were used as the true attention maps here. Then 175 pairs of initial estimate of attention maps and corresponding segmented masks were used in the CN training. Following the same procedure, activity maps were reconstructed with photopic centigrams and this final estimate attention maps. With estimated activity maps, we evaluate the proposed method on our activity quantification task on another 45 images. Activity in Caudet, Putman, and Global Paradox was measured. In the evaluation of the brain spec study, we compare the performance of the proposed method on this data to that used the true attenuation map for attenuation compensation. Further, we also compare to the conventional chance method Normalize the root mean square error between the method and with city-based true attention maps was calculated. Now let's see the normalized root mean square error result. We find that the proposed method yielded a similar quantification performance with that obtained when the city-based true attention map was available. Further, the proposed method yielded a significantly lower normalized root mean square error than the chance method. And there are some reconstructed attention maps. Virtually, city-based attention map and estimated attention map were very similar. Note that the middle column is an example where the city holder shows in the city image and was also predicted in the proposed method. Finally, we show some reconstructed activity maps. Our results show that images from the proposed approach were visually similar to those obtained with true attention map. In conclusion, the proposed physics and deep learning based transmission as attenuation compensation method yielded a reliable performance on clinical detection and quantification tasks as objectively evaluated using clinical realistic spec simulation studies conducted in the context of myocardial perfusion spec and dopamine transporter spec, respectively. The method consistently yielded similar performance as that obtained when the attention map was available, such as from our CT scan, providing evidence that 
the method could yield a reliable attenuation compensation even without a transmission scan such as a CT scan. The result motivated further validation of the method using physics phantom and clinical studies. Finally, thank our collaborators, our lab members, the HPC, and the funding agencies. If you have any questions, please join the Slack channel or email us. Thank you.